as Mika Hakkinen jinks out to take up his position, David Coulthard. You're looking now, Schumacher, Ferrari in the background, the McLaren of Mika Hakkinen. Behind them, David Coulthard and Rubens Barrichello. Behind them, Jensen Button, you can just see his uh, Union flagged helmet in the background, and Ralph Schumacher. Is somebody going to make an unexpectedly good start, but in particular, can Michael Schumacher get it away? Hakkinen's car not looking particularly healthy on the line there. Look, a lot of blue smoke coming out of the back. That could be just oil burning off of the exterior of the exhaust pipes, but that is definitely more than normal, Murray. Yep, watch for that then. Four lights, five lights of the Japanese Grand Prix. He's go, and Michael Schumacher cuts straight across and drives Mika Hakkinen towards the wall. But Hakkinen's done it again. He's taken the lead, as he did last year and the year before. A terrible bit of news for Michael Schumacher. David Coulthard in the third position, and Rubens Barrichello has been swapped, including by Eddie Irvine's Jaguar, which started in seventh position. So, Hakkinen, Schumacher, Coulthard, and up, up has come extremely well for Williams BMW, and it looks like Ralph Schumacher in fourth position. Totally unexpected. And Mika Hakkinen has got exactly the situation that he wanted on the first lap. Michael Schumacher has got exactly the situation he didn't want. Remember what James Allen told you about fuel strategies. This could have immediately changed the Ferrari fuel strategy if Michael Schumacher was starting on a light load. So both Ferraris then, as expected, slow off the line. Michael tried to amend that by squeezing Mika Hakkinen. He would have nothing of it, just like he would have nothing of it back at the Hungarian Grand Prix either, and street through. But anyway, it's all calm. Michael is in, still in a point, six-point scoring position. He can still win the championship if he finishes second to Hakkinen twice. So I don't think he'll be too distressed. He's got four wheels on his wagon and a whole race ahead of him and I think he has the pace to at least stay with Hakkinen and maybe just an ounce more speed too. And sure enough, Ralph Schumacher, a brilliant fourth place, Eddie Irvine up into fifth position, Rubens Barrichello down to sixth, Jensen Button lost two places down to seventh position and over the line, one lap completed, 52 laps to go. You can see them as Mika Hakkinen turns into the approach to the snake. Now, last year, he pulled away and built up a comparatively rapidly eight seconds lead over Michael Schumacher. It doesn't look to me as though he's doing that this year. Here it is again. Yeah, so we've got an overhead. Look, they got away perfectly, but it's just Micah just hooked up, got more grip, had to take to the yellow hatch zone, and there, Barrichello getting squeezed totally out back into sixth place, so not working at all well for him. But uh, Michael certainly activated the uh, clutch at the right time but just did not pick up speed you'd have to suggest that the ferrari is heavier on fuel because he certainly got off the line quite well but as we've seen so many times this year hakkinen is able to build speed so quickly look he kills the wheel spin immediately and just gets total forward motion and that is the net result he's leading the grand prix so quickly did he do that that although michael schumacher moved across immediately to try and impede the mclaren he totally failed to do so now here they come out of the spoon 